Hey, my name is David. I'm a Coke Play Frontier from the Genesis Group. And I just want to show you guys something that I saw at Kitco News. So please check this out. That's where maybe the regulators need to step in and, and make a divide between what is investable, what are good um, coins, if you like, tokens, yeah. with value behind them, and what are the ones that don't have any value behind. You can't always tell people what to invest in, but you can actually give them some guidelines. There you go. Give them some guidelines on what is a good investment when it comes to cryptocurrencies and what is not. Because look, it says how to spot a scam cryptocurrency according to a regulator. So, please continue watching. What are some guidelines that you could offer right now in terms of maybe red flags to watch for when they're picking an altcoin? Is this a legitimate project that might be wondering to themselves, how do I make that decision or distinction? Well, this isn't financial advice, but I would say that um, look at the project like you would any company that you're investing in. Look at the team, look at how long they've been in existence. They may have other projects. Look at what their future plans are, not just a one page white paper. Um, don't jump into it. There's plenty of time. There's plenty of projects and protocols out there to invest in. But I think it's very important to make sure there is some sort of um, reality behind it and that you believe in what the project's going to achieve. Yeah. And that can be turned into real life situation, not just air. Okay, and uh, how does the uh, DMCC fit into all this? Tell us about the work that you've done. All right, so there, he says, look at the leaders, the people who are involved. Uh, look at what their future plans are. Do you believe that they can do it? You know, you want to see what have they accomplished so far. And so let's look at CokePlay. CokePlay receives $63 billion to take on Google, Apple, Netflix, and YouTube. $63 billion. Now first, for CokePlay to receive that type of money... To get that type of institutional money is the institutional money aren't stupid. They don't just throw money at anyone. Why don't you go up there and go to an institution, you know, an investment institution and, and tell them, hey, give me money to start up a business. They'll say, sorry, get out. You bug them enough, they'll call the police and you're going to get arrested. But Coke Play received $63 billion. And what is the future plans? The future plans is to take on Google search engine, Apple, Netflix, maybe Apple Play, so I don't know, Netflix, YouTube, right? Contents and, and you know, uploading videos. All right. Well, that is quite a future plan. Okay, that's quite a future plan. And so now I don't know if these are... All the directors here are are still there. You know, uh, people, if you know the crypto world, yes, um, this, some of the found, founders might, you know, move on to new projects, you know, in and out. I don't know. Okay. But let's look at the CEO. All right. G1 Kong, Kang. Okay. Uh, CEO Super Acid, Coplace Parent Company. All right. Um, subsidiary company of Nexon, okay, and Nexon's one of the you know largest gaming companies in Korea, all right, and that's a pretty good track record so far, okay. Now, here we have Huang Dong So, okay, he's a director, uh, entertainment producer in South Korea and China. Uh, is the CEO of Grove Entertainment and director of Korea Entertainment Producers Association. Okay, very well educated. They're all very well educated. Young Choi, CTO, Chief uh, Technical Officer. I, I believe that's what that means of CoPlay. Um, currently leads a crypto finance and cybersecurity company, 3KF Finance, as CSO and blockchain AI DeFi cryptocurrency company. Professor of engineering at Yonsei University, director of Samsung Electronics, executive director of SK Hynix, research director of 
uh, NVIDIA, chief developer of BMC software. So, uh, yeah, uh, you just, you look at the people who are involved at the top and you can see, I mean, obviously you can see that if you look into a company, before you invest in a company, you want to look at the people who are running the projects. And obviously right here, you look at the people who are running the projects. They are very successful in their industry. Um, the company is very well financed. And, you know, with these people at the helm, with their experience and know-how and connections in all the different industries, obviously they're, they're, they can tackle and be able to compete with the in the, you know with the companies and the industries that they want to compete with. We have Jason Ku, chairman and CEO, president of um, K Clavis, I guess, investment company. So this is a big institutional investment company, okay? And they invested sixty three to sixty four billion U.S. dollars into Super Asset, Coke Play's parent company, for app developers to enter global market. All right. So when you look at Coke Play in a business model and you go back to what this regulator says, it does Coke Play look like a good investment. For me personally, yes. The 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 founders are solid um businessmen. They don't have a bad, they have excellent track record. They're successful and well-funded. Uh, if you look at Coke Play, the, the app, everything runs just fine. Okay. Um, I mean, you might have some hiccups here and there, but anyway, it's well-developed. Uh, Coke Play is getting well-established. You have Coke Play families worldwide, everywhere, you know, Korea, the States, Russia, um, just everywhere, you know, Europe, you name it, you have Coke Play members, right? And does Coke Play have a good future plan? Obviously, yes, because they plan on tackling Google, Apple, Netflix, YouTube. How are you going to tackle these companies? And not think that, you know, if you have a company that plans on getting going into these these multi-billion or possibly even trillion dollar industries, obviously, obviously the, the company has a bright future ahead of itself. Because you have the right people involved. You have the right financial backing. You got even the Coke Play currencies have value now they're around three bucks where they can sell the currency if they need to then don't forget because of, of staking they still have bitcoin and ethereum and tether but they never sold their bitcoin or ethereum or tether from what i was told they still have all of it when people change it to mine coke coins so keep all that in mind yeah you should so it's very right now Coke Coke Play to me. You know it doesn't like. There's no warning signs, no red signs, nothing like oh stay away from everything, is solid. Now I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. I, however, I am telling you what I'm doing. And I just gave you the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing as, for me being involved with Coke Play. Now, if you're new to the channel, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, okay? And if you want to join Coke Play, go to Play Store, um, type in Coke Play, K-O-K -K space P-L-A-Y. You're going to need an invite code. Use my Q-A-A-B-I-R-W-L, Q-A-A-B-I-R-W-L. All right, everyone, please stay safe out there. Take good care of yourself. You might want to stock up for... A rough winter, possibly. Even maybe buy some Christmas toys ahead of time. And all of you out there, stay blessed. God bless you all. And Coke on.